Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, Sacred Geography, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a grand solar minimum update Thursday, December 21st, 8.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2023. The sun has kicked off two significant M flares, M4.2 and 3.3, respectively, and we will have analysis in the coming hours. We also have new updates on the Iceland eruption and the lava field, plus historically genuinely extraordinary rainfall in Ventura County stuns experts. Keep calm. It's boom time. Storms combining forces will bring slippery snow to the Rockies, high plains over the Christmas weekend. Ho, ho, ho. Winter weather alert sparks warnings of snow in the desert. And Denver weather, are you dreaming of a white Christmas? Well, snow is headed towards the city this weekend. Anchorage is closing in on 75 inches of record snow for the season, ending well above the record by, well, almost a foot. Holy macaroni. Flood threat increasing across California with over 20 million under flood alerts. As Southern California faces rainstorms set for the heaviest rainfall since Hurricane Hillary. And it's happened. Record rain sent three to four feet of water rushing into this home. There is nothing livable left. Well... And according to those in Ventura County, historically, genuinely extraordinary rainfall causes flooding. But is it? No, it is not. Of course, fear-mongering exists. The 2023 flooding, there was the 2014 and the 2019 flooding, the 2005 flooding of Ventura, the 1998 flooding of Ventura County, the 1995 flooding, 1992 flooding, the 1983 flooding, the 1978 flooding, the 68, 69 flooding, the tragic loss in the 65 flooding, the early flooding history as well. And, but mainstream media doesn't care about the facts they only care about your feelings and they want you to think that you're responsible for the flooding in california which couldn't be further from the truth flooding happens all over the world all the time due to many reasons but the reason flooding is happening now well it's your fault what say you leave a comment below on the nonsense Heavy rainfall for Southern California is not unprecedented. It happens cyclically. Ongoing river flooding across the Northeast as well. A slow-moving storm system will bring more heavy rainfall to Southern California until Friday, creating a risk of additional flooding in the region. The same system could also cause heavy flooding in parts of the Southwest, where flood watches are in effect in the northeast river levels remain high and flooding is expected to persist through the weekend you can see those little green dots up here in the northeast those are the areas in question and heavy rain coming to southern california and arizona and the desert so heads up in those regions as flash flooding can be deadly. Let's take a look at the snowfall forecast because it is the Christmas season after all. And we'll just move it through Christmas Day here. Those areas in blue and pink will be seeing snow for Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. And where we are located, it is going to be a banner bunk of Christmas. We're going to be seeing some of the most snow on any of these maps so we will bring it to you live because we probably won't be doing too many podcasts the 23rd, 4th, and 5th. Just for a heads up, 90% of the Mongolian region under snow and China breaks the all-time coal records. Gangshu quake kills 131. Can you believe that? And Guatemala's lowest temperature in 30 years. Can you understand what's happening you've been lied to apparently rescue efforts for survivors of the 6.2 magnitude earthquake that killed at least 131 and injured 1,000 in China's northwest are coming to an end authorities on Wednesday said that they were wrapping up operations and would now focus on treating the injured and helping those who lost their homes as records set setting low temperatures hinder the survival efforts. It's too cold to bear. It's minus 15 C, said Wang Yi, chief commander of the Blue Sky Rescue Team, as rescuers are actually entering homes and bringing heaters to residents. Good news there, and that is a feel-good story 
for the holidays. But not a feel-good story in Peru as a magnitude 6.2 earthquake strikes the region. Its epicenter in Ire occurs at a depth of 93.4 kilometers, which is good news up on the surface. Little damage has been recorded. Seismic update. We also had a major rumbler earlier today out here on the Aleutians. I can't get it. It's in Adak, Alaska. It could be a six magnitude, but oh, there it is, 6.1. No, no tsunami warning and no injuries reported. There is very few people living in that region. That brings us over to the Reykjanes volcano update. Worldwide volcano news update. Actually, the only volcano to update worldwide is the Reykjanes volcano, which we've all had our eyes on for 72 hours. The Iceland eruption has stopped or paused. Now, after its spectacular start on Tuesday night, lava effusion rapidly decreased yesterday and during the night. By today, no more lava seems to be erupting. This means the eruption has either stopped or is pausing, but probably only time can tell which of the two scenarios is true, as these fissure eruptions are finicky. And today, Isaac Finbogen had a live stream earlier showing massive amounts of blue and red gases burning off at the surface, which is indicative of massive amounts of magma laying just beneath the surface waiting to come up. Now, before the eruption can be declared over, the magma pressure in the shallow reservoir underground should be assessed somehow. Because this is the decisive factor, whether new magma from the latest intrusion is able to rise to the surface or not, rather than cool down inside the crust, we won't know for a day or so until measurements have been made. But there has been a new map made of the three previous eruptions starting back in 2021, including the newest eruption, El Dos de Vilsun de Garia over here in purple. So the newest eruption here in just two days has effused more lava than any of single eruption in the last three years, including Geldingalda. So this is a massive eruption that happened in just two days compared to these eruptions, which lasted for weeks and months, which, let, which opens your eyes to the scale of this fissure eruption. Now, the bad news is that most of the uplift is to the left or the west of the region in purple, and there is lots of lava, hundreds of times more lava than has come to the surface, still available for the eruption. Now, there is no seismic activity in the last 12 hours or so, which shows that there is probably no fissures occurring now. We would see a big uptick in seismic activity prior to the next eruption, but where it's going to happen is anyone's guess. Now, the bad news is that this dividing line here, which is the road from Grindavik North, which also has a lava occlusion mound, which means that the lava over here can't make it over to the infrastructure, that's not the important message here. The important message is most of the lava is to the west of that boundary. Now, most of the lava has come up over here, but most of the lava in place is over here. So will there be a new fissure eruption in the danger zone? It's anyone's guess. But we are waiting. We are praying for the people in Grindavik. We are praying for the Blue Lagoon and the geothermal plant and that none of this breaks to the surface. But odds are against it as Iceland is on a mid-Atlantic ridge and everything and everything is possible because it has happened before. Space weather news update. Real quick look at the latest HMI intensity shows. Many sunspots have developed in a big way over the last few days. Nothing catastrophically large, but there has been some activity on the sun. We've had an M4.2 and an M3.3 in the last 24 hours, and we'll be waiting in a few hours for telemetry from them. Most likely coming from the active region 3519 turning around the limb, and the newest maybe coming from Active Region 3529. But stay tuned for more updates as we are waiting for them to be processed by SOHO. But we can clearly see that that earlier M4.2 solar flare was from Active Region 3519 as it moved away from the limb. So any CME coming from this will be directed directly away from Earth. Good news. Now hold on to your hats. 
the Johnson Webb Space Telescope, now racist as it may be, unveils unprecedentedly crisp views of Uranus. <laughs> yeah, I said it. Uranus is looking crisp tonight. Take a look. Never before seen illuminated in ultraviolet the rings of Uranus. But that's not the important thing, is it, ding, ding? The important thing is that they were able to simulate the moons of Uranus seen in NASA's incredible James Webb Space Telescope image. And it is mind-boggling how many moons are running around this planet in our solar system. It's mind-boggling. Now, it's clear that many of these moons, so-called moons, are captured objects, asteroids, or comets that are now all assimilating themselves around this slightly gaseous slash rocky body, which is called a substar or a gas giant. How do you like them, Uranuses? Now, the only way you could know this information early is if you subscribe to our channel over at X, Oppenheimer Ranch Project at Diamond the Dave. We want to get this to 1 million followers in the next three seconds. So please go make that happen. We're only at 7,000 followers, so we've got a long way to go. Scientists warn that plastic rocks are appearing across the world. Well, no duh. We have more plastic on the surface of the earth in the last 50 years than has, well, ever been made ever in the history of ever. How do you like them apples? And not only that, this plastic makes us gay and is endocrine disrupting, which makes us sick, carcinogenic, and transgender. I think I just served the whole woke problem. Stop using plastic and stop making rocks with it. Snappy Christmas. Have you heard? Men are more likely to fracture their penises at Christmas than any other time of the year. No, this isn't fake news. This is real science. And you can simulate it by cracking a candy cane. Ouch! Men are more likely to injure their willies during sex at Christmas, according to a study. That might be that many people don't have sex all year except for Christmas. I don't know. But hospital figures show agonizing penal fractures are more common in the festive season than any other time of the year. They happen when too much force at the wrong angle snaps and tears the soft tissue inside the <laughs> causing a cracking sound and pain and swelling. I can only imagine. All the links will be below, and that's as deep as we will go. Ho, ho, ho. Federal judge orders documents naming Jeffrey Epstein's associates to be unsealed. Well, finally, holy macaroni, who's going to be on the list? More than 150 people are expected to be identified in early January. Actually, I think it's the second week. What a tweak. Will Bill Clinton be on the list? Will Joe Biden be there? Who knows? The point is that this is less than 10% of the list, so it's literally just a Christmas gift, I guess. Now, another Christmas gift I'm going to give you right now. You're looking at the Earth on Google Earth, and this is China. We're going to just bring it in here. We're going to bring you here on the little-known Shanxi province in the middle of Shanxi in China. You can see there's billions of people here. This is all city and community here. And we are in the Jian province here, one of thousands of provinces with billions of people in China. And what I'm bringing you on, some untitled place marks that I made earlier in the day because I want to blow your mind. One thing we're going to look at here is a gigantic pyramid. Take a look. Where China and or whoever owns this region specifically has placed trees on there to make it look like some kind of a tree farm. But it's actually a pyramid. One of dozens of pyramids in China that almost nobody knows about. You want to know about the Great Pyramids in Egypt? You can Google them. But you want to learn about anything about the Great Pyramids of China? You're not going to get any information. This pyramid here measures 760 meters across its base. It's massive. 
and it is not the only pyramid in this region of China. This little area here, let's go back to 2D, shall we? And let me show you some of the things I found. Well, this isn't the only pyramid here. There is, in fact, pyramids all over the freaking place. Take a look at this guy, this little guy here, shall we? This looks more like a Mesoamerican pyramid in from Peru, perhaps, with a flat top and a little higher than the last pyramid, but is it? No, it isn't. This is a much smaller pyramid. These pyramid complexes are simply surrounded by farmland. There are very few placards. They're not tourist attractions, and everyone seems to just need to forget about them. And in this pyramid complex region here that I've found with the main pyramid, there are dozens of pyramids all around the place. And I found these all in just less than 24 hours, hours of powers. I don't know what that placard is, but let's bring it into 3D and see maybe what we're finding here. Nope, nothing really there on the, on the countryside. That was a bad placard, maybe. Or maybe the powers that be have changed the placards. Take a look at this pyramid over here. <laughs> Holy crap. I mean, it feels like we are in Peru. Maybe. Maybe we're in central Mexico. Who knows? Let's take a look at one more of these pyramids that I have bookmarked. So here's what's interesting. Over in this area that's all like grown out with these gardens, take a look at this. This is all within two miles of each other, everything we're looking at. And there are clearly, there's another flat top pyramid here and another pyramid here and another one here. Holy mackerel. What is going on in these areas? Now, this is clearly another pyramid that the government has planted many trees upon so that you would know it's a pyramid. Nothing to see here. It's just a tree-covered hill. But we're going to build these amazing gardens around it. So, there is something afoot in China, clearly, that they don't want us to know. And this is just 24 hours of research. I've heard there's 56 pyramids. I found six or seven in this one area, and we will look deeper for you. But there are papers on this and on the geomagnetic alignment of these Chinese pyramids. Absolutely fantastic. We're going to do a whole expose over at Magnetic Reversal News and on Revolution Radio about the pyramids and why nobody knows about it. Now, after this, the ice returns, there will be scientists, and they will say, wow, we've stumbled upon the remains of an ancient failed religion as they look upon the toxic solar panels literally littering the earth. Now, a bombshell in the mystery of the missing Malaysian Airlines flight MH370 as a veteran fisherman reveals shocking discovery in the South Seas of Australia. The only problem is there's no photographic evidence of what he claimed. There is no evidence physical of what he claimed. And this may all be a cover-up because of what Ashton Forbes has uncovered in just the last few weeks over at Ashton Forbes, at Just Ashton on Twitter and on YouTube at Ashton Forbes. Ashton Forbes has uncovered some secret video footage just days after the event of MH370, which seems to suggest advanced technology sucked this plane into a wormhole. And this interview will go live tomorrow night like a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Please be prepared for any eventuality. Ashton Forbes claims that he loves our channel and is a big fan, and we appreciate him as well. The interview is amazing. Please follow us as we enter the holiday season, a season of pleasing. Please help others. The whole reason to be alive on earth is to help others. It's not about you. It's not about materialism. It's about being human. And that means helping others if you can. We love each and every one of you. Please share this video as we are shadow banned. We need your help to grow. Become a Patreon. Support the work we do and watch all of our content in one place commercial free. We love you. 
Be safe. Be grateful for what you have. We love you. And that is a boom. Merry Christmas. Mm.